If you're looking for a travel stroller and you need something that is compact, lightweight, and great for traveling, we tried the GB Pocket Air All-Terrain Stroller, and this is our review. This review is not sponsored. It is the stroller of choice that we chose for our family vacation, and we decided to try it, tag along, and we'll show you how we liked it. When you open a YouTube and it's like the review but they actually just unpacked it out of the box so they have never really used this stuff they have never really experienced work like actually using it and they're here recommending it well so today we're going to talk about the GB pocket air all-terrain stroller which I actually tested we took it for 30 days on our trip to Europe with our toddler. Well, actually, he's a preschooler now. So why did I decide to buy this one versus the Yo-Yo, which is very famous, or any other pocket strollers? I needed something that was lightweight, that it was easy to fold up and down, and that it was very compact to put away. We were going to be traveling from cities to cities, so I needed something that was very compact and easy, and I didn't have my husband say, just don't take this stroller. We're not gonna need it. Like, you're a mother, you know, you always need it. And I'll prove it to you the day that I didn't take it, what happened. So as you know, you always need the stroller, so let's bring in a compact one. So this one is the top lightest. So there's others that might fold easier, that might be more comfortable, that might be a little bigger, but in terms of weight, this one is the lightest. So I went with it and you can compact it so small it fits in a backpack. Lock in the front wheels so that they are not moving and this is gonna make sure that the wheels are compacted in. Do the same with the back using the white clip to fold the wheels in. Using your top handles, look for the white buttons and then you're going to press those down at the same time and you're going to push down. The gravity, it's going to pull it all down and then you can easily compact it side to side. To open it up, just open your stroller and push the white buttons at the same time. Give it a good shake so that the gravity can help put it down. Then open the back wheels and unlock the front wheels so that they swing back and forth and you are ready to go. And yes, there's a lazy way to do it and an easier one to do it. Avoid the whole wheel part and just push the buttons and push it down. Yes, the wheels are going to stick out, but it's a lot faster. So let's go from the bottom to the top in terms of the stroller. The wheels. The wheels are very small, they're very thin, and my husband said this is not going to survive 30 days in Europe because there's a lot of bumpy roads. But the bad boys survive 30 days of constantly visiting cities over cities over cities. There were times where I would be going with the stroller and a little bump in the road would be like boom boom. Like it doesn't have like a, like a bicycle wheel where it can like bounce off and catch on itself quickly. They're harder. So if, if you have like a little bump and you're not watching, you can, you're going to get like stuck like a, a speed bump. Moving on with the storage. The storage is convenient, it's small. So in the bottom it has a little mesh bag. It was great for putting our bags and our water bottle and his lunchbox. So not, not a big storage, but just enough for a trip. You always have a backpack anyway, so we didn't really use it as much. Moving on to where the sitting area is, this, the straps came attached and I didn't realize it until like 15 days in. So it was really uncomfortable for him to strap on and I didn't realize it was because it was like weirdly strapped on uh, until I figured it out. Then I was able to loosen the straps, uh, which we were so used to not using the straps, we just like forgot about it. Uh, but they are comfortable. They have the little uh, regular meshy meshy thing. But one of the things that I love is this mesh. So the mesh makes it super lightweight and it also makes it very refreshing. So some of the trips that we took, some of the cities were extremely hot. Putting him in a stroller and having 
the peace of mind that he wasn't sweating his back because some of the strollers could get very hot, like some of the car seats. This is a regular mesh, so he was able to like get the air in and out so he wasn't sweating. It was actually comfortable. This version of the stroller that I have does not lean back. If you fall asleep, this one does not lean back. So he will constantly putting his head towards this metal, which I didn't like because that, I don't think that was very comfortable for him, but I always had the blanket that we were using and I would like put it next to it so that he had a little bit of cushion. So that's one of the things that maybe I was like, oh, I should have paid a little bit more but I think it was also bigger and heavier and that's why I decided not to. My son is four, so he could be fine just sleeping like that, but if I had a toddler that take constant naps during the day, I would definitely go with the one that leans back, especially because we were out the whole day. So it's not like it was just a quick moment until we could get to the hotel so he could sleep in a bed comfortably for his two, three hour nap. We were on the go all the time meaning he was gonna sleep his whole nap in the stroller. So if you have a toddler, uh, I suggest getting the one that you can recline back and they'll be able to sleep a lot more comfortably. Moving on to the shade. I thought the shade was a great idea because it actually flips back and front. It's useless. Unless it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon where the sun is completely down, it's completely useless. Most of the strollers have a cocoon type of shade, which is going to get cover the sun from all different sides. This is just like a, it's not even a, like the, even the hats have like a little side thing, right? This one is like completely flat on, the sun just comes from anywhere. So I would use to just take that blanket and put it over him and make a little cocoon myself. So don't rely on this. I don't I didn't like it it just it it didn't cover the Sun in terms of the stability so when you close it you gotta push it down uh, it, it could get a little flimsy right like it's let's see if I can show. so it's a little flimsy because it flips down and sometimes when you drive you know it could get like a little squiggly uh, but I was like, this thing is gonna break. This thing is not gonna survive. This is like putting a Lego piece together, but it survived. It worked fine. It didn't break. It was stable. So it was just really my perception of the stroller, but it was compactable. So you can assume that it's going to have a little bit less stability in terms of how comfortable it is to push. So I always felt like it was squiggling a little bit, especially when we're like going through the heavy rocks and stuff. But overall, I think the stroller is was a great option. It's a great purchase. I am actually preferring this one now that I'm home over my regular stroller. Today, we are going to Canada for a week vacation. And again, we're going to be sharing a car with my sister and her nephews. And I wanna make sure that I can take the stroller with me and we're not gonna have a problem because the stroller is long, it's not gonna fit, we have bags. So I'm taking this comfortable knowing that we're going to be able to fit it in. So I hope this video was helpful for you in really understanding what the stroller can do and what it did for me. 30 days all over Europe. So we really, really used it. And I did try to make notes of everything that I was liking and didn't like so that you, when you purchase yours, you have real reference on what it is to use this specific stroller. I really enjoyed documenting it and testing it for you. So I'll see you on the next video. My name is Alexa and if you don't know me, I'm a sensory teacher. I'm a mom for a four year old. I do mommy and me classes. I do sensory classes and I love all things about play. Come along, subscribe because I have all the goodness coming for you.